Big Herc 916. Hey man, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share this channel. Let's blow this thing up. I just happened to, um, you know, hear about this from one of the fans of the channel. And this is deeply disturbing. This just send chills up your spine when it comes to disciplining your kids, having a male role model in the house, having a father figure in the house, and your kids respecting parenting. Boy shot mom for refusing Amazon purchase. Spoke of little girls inside his head, grandma says. This is from the New York Post, December 2nd, 2022. 10-year-old Milwaukee boy who allegedly shot his mom over a virtual reality headset had two little little girls inside his head who told him to do things, his grieving grandmother said, as she begged for mercy for her sick grandson. He's always said that he hears voices. Virtual virtual video game player, right? This kid's a, playing a virtual video game. This is what these kids are doing all day, man. You know, young kids that, you know, they're not out they're not out skateboarding, BMXing, jumping off of ramps, riding wheelies, wheelie contests. They're not, you know, building dirt dirt mountains and 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 playing, you know, trucks or NASCAR or anything. These kids are in these video games and they're getting subliminally intoxicated with this nonsense and it's poisoning. It's poisoning society, man. And, you know, you, you look at, you know, the video game maker, but they didn't tell you to go buy the video game. You bought it for your kid, and the video game has become your kid's babysitter. That's your kid's best friend. That's your child's playmate. And, you know, everybody thinks it's cute, but this stuff is, it, man, this stuff can have serious effects on the mental, man. And we, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface on how serious and how bad this is going to be in the next, you know, five to ten years. This whole generation has grew up on a smartphone. They grew up with, you know, they're into this virtual stuff, this meta world. How, how detrimental is this to the health of young people in society? I mean, he said there's two little girls inside his head telling him to do things. And he has an imaginary friend that will tell him to do really bad things. The boy also had difficulty sleeping. Um, and would complain about voices being especially intense in the morning. Ten years old, and you could only, I mean, as a ten-year-old, what what is your... What is your mind going through? What type of challenges are you dealing with as far as development, as far as comprehension, as far as separating reality from fiction, you know, in addition to whatever else these kids are being taught in school? This is pretty, this is pretty crazy, man. Um, he said that his thoughts and everything starts generating at five or six in the morning. Man told the outlet, sometimes four o'clock. He tried to do the right thing, but he couldn't do it right away. And he was bullied a lot, really bad. The juvenile whose name is being withheld because of his age allegedly shot his mom, Kiana Mann, in the face on November 21st after she wouldn't buy him an Oculus virtual reality headset. He then allegedly logged onto her Amazon account to purchase the gadget. He was charged as an adult last week with first degree reckless homicide and is being held at County's Juvenile Detention Center at $50,000 bail. The distraught grandmother said her grandson would call the little girls in his head sisters. She described an incident six months ago when her grandson filled the balloon with flammable liquid and set it aflame causing a fire to spread in the living room. Afterwards, he blamed the sisters in his head, but then described one of the girls as an elderly woman and the other as an unpleasant man. The grandmother also recalled how he used to swing his puppy around by the tail. Man, this kid right here, man, this this is like, this is like some 
I mean, I, I, I don't want to say it, man, but this is like something from one of these crazy movies, man. This is like the making of like, this is like some Michael Myers type shit, man. This is very troubling, man. You know, if you're, if you know, I don't know how many of you parents actually spend Sundays or the weekends or take the time to talk to your kids and, you know, make them put down the video games, but please, man, start talking to your kids and limits on these activities and and find out what your kid is you know dealing with you know pop up at the school sometime and you know have lunch with your child and you know see what's going on you know try to figure out what these kids are dealing with um so that just messed with his mental illness and it just kind of spiraled and made him worse she remembered it was bad sometimes he would have these episodes where he was just kind of mean to his mother she continued he didn't pick up on a lot of things he talks intelligent but he doesn't understand a lot of things he would cry a lot the boy not keeps telling the family he is still on Santa's list this Christmas man told the Daily Beast he said Santa's bringing him some things for Christmas she said he said yesterday can we go to the house and decorate for Christmas put up the Christmas tree and decorate the outside of the house she added Man, that's sad, man. I, you know, I, I feel for this grandmother, you know, trying to uh, trying to deal with the loss of her of her daughter and now her grandson. My aunt also revealed her daughter was taking the boy to a therapist who confirmed the severity of his illness. She also got daily reports from school about his behavior in class. We tried to help in her with him, man said. All of us, everybody that knows her, even her church people, we all tried helping her with him because we knew he had a mental illness. She said her daughter loved being a mom, sang in gospel choir, and was within three credits of a master's degree. She loved being a mom, man said, her daughter. His birthday parties were fabulous. The table is set up so beautiful, the balloons, the gifts, the cake. Kiana Mann and her son even traveled to Disneyland last Christmas and spent part of the of June in New York. In early November, they jetted to Puerto Rico, returning shortly before the shooting. But despite his mother's efforts to give him a happy life, the grandmother said her grandson was never really satisfied unless he was getting something. She said he would sometimes steal his mother's credit card to make online purchases. Man. In investigators say the boy had unlocked the gun box in his mother's bedroom and went to the basement where she was doing laundry, despite initially claiming that he was twirling the gun around and it accidentally went off. He later admitted to his maternal aunt Shawanda Reed that he assumed a shooting stance and aimed a gun at his mom. Kiana's last words were reportedly, why do you have that? Put that down. She's fatally shot in the face approximately three feet away from her, according to detectives. Immediately after killing, the killing, computer records show the boy accessed his mother's Amazon account and purchased the headset. Before the boy allegedly confessed to his aunt, the shooting was still being treated as an accident Reed took her nephew to see his grandmother. Upon arrival, when a boy saw his grandmother crying, he stated without any empathy or compassion, I'm really sorry for what happened. I'm sorry for killing my mom, the criminal complaint says. After apologizing for killing his mother, asked if his Amazon package arrived. The boy later altered his story and the family called the police. You guys, please talk to your kids. Please get them out of this game mode, this this metaverse, this crazy, just fantasy world. You know, if you're a father and if you're not with the mother, try to somehow do something with your children. Be show them the, the, you know that other side they need so bad as far as the, the side that a man provides that. That masculinity, that 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 strength. You guys got to step up. I don't know where the father was in this situation, but you guys got to step up. These kids need help. 
they're 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 in desperate need, man. We're 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 moving into a, a generation of children where even when the father is there, he's so weak, he's insignificant. We need to get back to strong men, strong voices, and these children need your help. You guys step your game up. You know, I, I, my condolences to the family. So sad, man. So sad. This over an Oculus, vir, a virtual Oculus headset. This is his mom. So sad, man. Big Kirk 916. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.